Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use EC2 instance connect to SSH inside of an AWS EC2 instance. Uh, this doesn't require any key pairs, no terminal setup. I actually learned how to do this doing this hands-on networking series where you learn all about networking, VPCs, subnets, security groups, and how all of this actually fits together. If you want the full walkthrough and the free project guides, I'd recommend checking out the description below. Um, but I'm actually just going to skip to the instance connect part and we'll assume that you already have some experience inside of this video. Let's get straight into launching an EC2 instance that's actually compatible with EC2 instance connect. I'm going to go up to the top here and launch an instance. Uh, I'm going to call it something like EC2 connect test for AMI. Uh, just keep Amazon Linux 2023 selected. Same with the instance type here. Keep it as T2 micro. Um, for key pair, we can click on that drop down and then go proceed without a key pair. I know it says not recommended, don't panic. We're not gonna be using SSH in the traditional way. Normally this would be a problem. No key means no access, but that's exactly what EC2 Instance Connect solves. Then we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna to go to network settings. We're actually gonna click edit. You can use the default VPC or any VPC with a public subnet. Um, if not, you can just use the default one, that'll be fine. Make sure to enable auto assign public IP. This is important as EC2 Instance Connects works by connecting through the internet. So your instance needs a public IP address. For security group name, we're actually gonna create a security group. Um, I'm gonna call it something like Instance Connect SG. Uh, for description, I'm gonna add something like allow SSH for EC2 instance connect. Cool, for type, we're gonna leave it as SSH. For source type, we're gonna leave it as anywhere. And you can see the port range there is 22. So what this is doing is it's allowing SSH traffic from any IP. This is usually not safe in production, but it's fine for testing for this case here. We're gonna talk about security best practice at the end. So then you can go down to the bottom here and you can click launch instance. It's gonna take some time to actually launch and you can see that it was successful here. I'm gonna go back to instances here and I'm just gonna refresh my page so my instance shows up here. I can see my instances here. So I've selected my instance here and I'm gonna go down to the bottom of my screen and click on security. Now, once I'm in security, I can click on my instance connect security group here, um, which I'll click into. Now, I'm, what I'm gonna do is select this inbound rule here and I'm gonna go edit inbound rules. So for the sake of this, I'm actually gonna go and delete this rule and save changes. So now if I go back to my EC2 instance, I'll go back here, click on my instance. I can go up the top here and click connect. And now if I connect using public IP, just like this, you're actually gonna see an error here. There you go. Here we see a failed connection. This happens a lot. It's a very common issue and it's almost always because your security group isn't allowing SSH traffic on port 22. So let's go fix that. Go, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna click on security again, go to my security group. Now I'm gonna go edit my inbound rules here. And once I'm here, I'm gonna add a rule. I'm gonna change this to SSH. So type is SSH. Source, I'm just gonna go anywhere IPv4. As I said earlier, this is not best security practice, but it should do for here. Now I'm gonna go save rules. Now when I go back to this tab here, I'm gonna refresh and hopefully this should be good. Now, as you can see, this little bird indicates that we are in. So this is a Linux terminal running inside of your EC2 instance. You didn't download a key, you didn't use a terminal on your laptop, all of this is running through your browser. So just quickly, now that we're in here, I wanna explain what's happening. So basically what happened is AWS generates a temporary SSH key behind the scenes, and that injects the key into our EC2 instance's metadata. And then it's used that key to open a short-lived SSH session through the browser. After about 60 seconds, the key is wiped. It's still using SSH, it's just automated, secure, and keyless from our perspective. This is perfect for like quick access or education or recovering a server. So now in here you can run commands, install packages, test curl or ping or debug, 
whatever's on your instance, just like you would a normal remote machine. So I can run something like ping google.com. If you do the project, you'll learn more about this and it's gonna ping google.com, which is awesome. Just a quick word on security. This is not a setup that is typically safe for production. Port 22 open to the entire internet is really asking for trouble. Um, bots constantly scan for it. In real setups, you'd either lock your SSH to your company's IP range. Um, maybe you'd use Sessions Manager instead, which doesn't require a public IP or open ports. Um, or maybe you'd use Bastion host and a hardened network. Um, something like that might be a lot better. Anyway, EC2 Instance Connect is a great tool. And especially if you're having trouble SSHing in um, the traditional way, this can be a really easy and fun way to get in. I definitely recommend doing those networking projects. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's really good because it's hands-on, it's practical. And at the end of every project, you get documentation that you can actually show recruiters or people in the industry. It's a great way to really authenticate your skills and stand out amongst everyone else. Laters.